Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where I check out a new game every episode. Today we're checking out Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. This is actually a brand new Nintendo game and seems to be covering all sorts of very, very classic games, things like checkers, chess, card games, all that sort of stuff, 51 different ones. I don't think we'll be checking out all 51 in today's video, but we'll definitely take a look at a good chunk of them. So with that being said, let's get started with Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. I love just sort of like the miniature aspect to everything on the on the home screen here. Uh, we're just gonna do single player, um, but it's interesting that we can actually do online with this game. That sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do that at some point, I don't know. <laughs> ah, planet Earth. It's the world that we all call home. Life here has always been about two things, surviving and having fun. Games have existed forever. Every culture worldwide has its classics. I'd like to introduce you to a few of them. Would you mind telling me a little about yourself? Oh wow, so we get to choose from any of these characters. None of them are zebras. Time to pick a figure, so we can pick any of these guys. Um, Interesting. Like I said, none of them are zebras, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. Uh, hmm. I like this guy's shoes. We're gonna choose him. There we go. Um, So yeah, I guess you can even change different things about them. Uh, favorite food. My favorite food, hamburger, salmon, tacos, stroke it off, stew, steak, fish and chips, triple hot pot, sausage, pizza, there it is, apple pie, fondue, pala, there's like, it keeps going to french fries, chocolate, sushi, kebabs, curry, lobster. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna do pizza, because pizza's my favorite. Um, heart's Desire. Uh, interesting, lots of options. A lot of options. To be tall, a pool, a clever mind, Interesting. <laughs> I really don't know. World domination. They put that one right at the bottom. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I would say like a dog and a cat, but I already have some. My own home, a camera, smartphone, video games. <laughs> I feel like it's very fitting if I said video games. I think over everything here, I would like my own home. Of course, I live in a home, but I don't have a home that's like mine yet. I'll get there one day. Uh, what a place. Uh, what place do you prefer? Well. You know, I'm gonna go with what I know. Around there. All right, so I can move the figure, I can say okay. My figure. Uh, this is your figure selected to, to see your play records. Uh, your profile information will be visible to other players. Okay, uh, that's fine with me. <laughs> so yeah, is this like an online only game, I guess? I don't know, it's weird. Uh, I just, I wanna play checkers, hmm? What's that sound? Oh, it looks like your first game guides have arrived. Trying out the games I recommend is a good way to get started. All right, I'll catch you later. So who's this guy? Halim, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Halim, Halim, something. Uh, Worldwide Classics. Uh, the world is full of games and not everybody knows, but everybody should. Worldwide Classics, invite guide. Okay, so, um, guide globe. I picked out a few games from around the world that are fun even if you've never tried them before. Okay, what are those games? We have Mancala, Dots and Boxes, Four in a Row, Hit and Blow, and Hare and Hounds. Interesting, so let's try Mancala, the, an ancient strategy Mancala. game. This is not how I was expecting it. I just thought they would give us a list of games to try. <laughs> Mancala is all about planting. Like seeds? Huh. Oh, I see. You pick up the seeds and drop them in their little holes. You get to choose which of your pockets to move stones from. So we have blue, they have red. And these six pockets are mine? Yeah, the goal is to collect the most stones in your store. Oh, okay. Sure, in case of famine. There's one other twist you should know. Yeah? If you drop your last stone in an empty pocket, it's capturing time. Okay, empty pocket. Hey, you can take your opponent's seeds. Nice. Oh, interesting. All right, then. The game then. ends when one player runs out of stones in their pockets. So whoever has the most seeds in their store survives the winter. I mean, wins the game. 
How does Just it taking it pretty seriously. We'll figure it out as we go. That's what I do with everything. So yeah, let's see this. To the ant. Oh no. Let's play Mancala. So, um, we just learned how to play. So let's just play and see if we can't get to I don't want to spend too much time on one game, seeing how there's 51 in total to check out. Um, gather up stones in your store. Sure. So, um, so wouldn't I want to, because I can't drop more than one stone off at a place at a time, right? So like, yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? Um, okay. So one, two, three, four. So really I want to do, oh no. So yeah, that does add to other people's stuff. Okay, so, oh no, but I did that wrong, didn't I? Um, interesting. Yeah, this is so weird. Uh, so right now, they have more stones, but I don't know if that really matters. Um, no, but there's a stone in here now. Okay, I'm starting to see how this is working. Extra turn. Wait, why did I get an extra turn? I didn't see that. Um, what if I did it again? Will it tell me? Extra turn, but it didn't say why this time. So I have more stones in mind, so one, two, three, four. Okay, no, I did that wrong. Yeah, I, I, oh man, that is so tricky. That is so very tricky. Um, but if I were to do this, you, your last stone land in the, yeah, that, and then I do this, capture. So now I can um, take all of those. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I feel like I have to really wrap my mind around that potential strategy, but, I think I'm slowly starting to get it. Okay, so what I can do here, oh, well, there's nothing to capture, keep in mind. Um, but I can do this, and then I could have um, done that, um, and then do this. So at least I'm getting like a lot of, I'm like sort of slowly churning it that way, uh, but it works, I'm still like stacking up stones. Very peculiar game. I like it though. Um, and then, oh, that's probably not how I should have done that. Um, yeah, because I just gave him one. Very tricky. Oh yeah, that would have been in capture if it wasn't for the fact that there was nothing to capture. So I can do that. Then I can. Hmm, because I have a lot more stones than this guy does. <laughs> a whole lot of them. Um, there we go. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Those are mine. Those are mine right over there. Nice, so that's the big play, is capturing them like that. The only problem is I have so many stones right here and this is really gonna jumble the game up, I think. Capture. Oh, okay, Um, sure. <laughs> Interesting. So, if I do this, then without, it's technically good, but also not that big of a deal. But this is, once again, technically it would be good, but Hmm. Capture. Oh, you just captured mine. That's where it gets so tough. Even though it looks like I'm winning this one. Okay. Oh, oh darn. I was about to steal those. Okay. Move this stuff over there. And then we're just going to move that. That'll get us an extra turn. Um, and then we can do this, that'll get us another extra turn. Then we move this one here, we can capture both of them. Um, and we're definitely, like, there's not enough stones for them to possibly turn it around. So it looks like it's pretty clear when a game is won. Yep. Moving remaining, uh, yep. Okay, they give it to me. Cool. So yeah, 36 to 12. That's really cool, that was fun. I'd love to see some of the hits. Avoid capture. Be on the lookout for any empty pockets across from yours. Yep, <laughs> I was definitely trying to do that. A global game. While its roots are planted in Africa and Asia, Minkala is played all over the world. I love the history about the games too, that's my favorite part. Um, you unlock some cool trivia. Keep playing and collect more trivia to impress your friends. <laughs> hey, it impresses me, I don't need to impress all my friends. If I, I just like the information. Uh, you can look back anytime through trivia you've collected with L and R in case you ever need to reference it again. So it looks like there's different medals we can get for doing different levels of things, um, like harder uh, and impossible CPU. Um, so we could do that. 
I feel like I, I had my pass with that for right now. Um, this is Dots and Boxes, a battle for turf played while, with pen and paper. Dots and Boxes. Huh. Okay. Ever played this one before? No. Don't think so. Where's the board? And the pieces? All you need for this one is a pen and paper. That's it? So I take it the rules aren't too complicated. Hmm. There are basically just two. On your turn, you draw a line. When your line finishes a box, ah. you get a point. Two rules for a 2D game. I'll give it a shot. It has like a tic-tac-toe vibe to it. Oh, so you could complete a larger box and maybe fill that in? Would that work? What just happened. Oh, right. If you finish a box, you get to keep going. Oh, like checkers almost, right? Let's play dots and boxes. This is interesting. I have never heard of this. So I know how to play now. Um, Let's go ahead and play. I like this. This is a fun game. <laughs> it's fun games within games. Um, So... Choose where to draw your line. Doesn't seem like it matters too much, but I'll choose like a corner or like a side more than a corner. But yeah, what if a box is two spaces? Wait, what did I do? Did I undo? Whoopsies, I didn't mean to do that. That's weird that I can undo their move though. That seems like cheating, doesn't it? Um. So yeah, let me try to make like one big box and see how that works, if it'll let me. I mean, I gotta be careful. Cause like, you know, I, they might just steal this. Well, okay, so it did not make two boxes in one. So I can do this, which means I have, I think, multiple turns, no? Hmm. Now I have to be careful because it's, it's sort of, it's almost like Connect Four. I can't set them up to make their next turn a win. Um. So I really need to scout things out. I think this is a good spot. Oh, up there, really? Okay. I mean, I know this is supposed to be one of the easier computers. Like, they sort of just avoid everything I do. But I'm waiting for them to call me out on something here. Like, if I do this. Ah, see, they did it. And now they might make, okay, they could have made a crazy combo there, but they didn't. Hmm because it's hard to sneak it in, you know? Um, oh, ah, I've been waiting for them so that I can swoop in and steal that shot, you know? They have to sooner or later. They keep thinking about the center, I think. I don't know. Um, I'll do it, oh, not there though. Not there, there has to be a spot I can, oh, they're getting me here. They're really getting me. Um, I think this is good. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dingus, that's what I have. <laughs> that was silly. Oh, they're really good at this game. If I do this though, yeah, definitely that's not gonna be a problem. Um, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. oh, they're getting me. Let me put this here. Okay. Wow, I am blown away with how good they are at this game. I'm not very good as you can see. Cause if I give them one here, I am in trouble. Okay, I can complete this though. Oh, I didn't see that. How many people have been screaming at me? Oh, it's right there, you know? Oh, now they're in trouble. Now they're in big trouble. We're going in. Look at this. Um, Boop. And there's gotta be more. I know there's at least like one more in this combination of things, right? Maybe not. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. that was great. Okay, I wanna be careful here. I do not wanna just, you know, make an excellent chain and then hand them off the keys to that, you know? So I have a lot of boxes filled here, but I just don't know what to follow up with. Cause there's like basically no possible spaces where I could put something down where the following move wouldn't be completing a box. So I'll just try this. They might finish it. They didn't. Okay. That's gonna be a big problem for you then. Um, cause every time I complete a box, this is a two for one right here. And I got, there's gotta be another one. I guess not. Yeah, I suppose not at the moment. I'll do this. I know they're probably gonna complete it, yeah. So this is where things get a little scary because they can just make that whole trail. 
and I don't really know what I could have done about that. It's, that's where it's like connect four or something. And they might actually take, oh, they didn't, okay. I was gonna say they might actually take the win here with that. I think they could have, if it wasn't for the fact that they just chose the wrong line there. Interesting game. So yeah, 14 to 10. So they took those, it would definitely, I think they would have won. Um, well, there we go. We win instead. Classroom fun. This is a popular game to play in school since everyone already has a pencil and paper. <laughs> I could have figured that one out myself. myself. Um, interesting, for sure, that was a lot of fun. Um, this guy's a nice uh, uh, taste in games. So four in a row, I was talking about this, Connect Four, which I think is like a copyrighted name, so they do four in a row. Drop pieces until you get four in a row. Um, sure. Four in a row. Oh, look at the dance. Have you come to try and get four in a row before me? Yes. This, I'm Token awful at this game, what? by the way. Falling circle counter. <laughs> Crouching disc stance. Seeds of future victory. Hidden path strike. Oh no. Oh, he, he made a big mistake. I'm so close. She just has to do it in the middle. There it is. Oh. You fought honorably. <laughs> we will duel again in winter. All right, let's play four in a row. Now I've played this game. This is like the first one I've actually heard of before. So uh, I'm awful at it. I used to play this a lot with friends and they would win every time. <laughs> Maybe I've got a little bit better games since then. Who knows? Uh, I just never know how to start. Oh, the blank slate always stresses me out. Um, I guess I'll do something like that. What are they gonna do? They're gonna put something on top of it. So I can't just build it vertically now, um, but I could maybe do something like this. Let's see what they do. They're gonna move over to the right. All right, well, I could do this. And of course they're gonna block that off. They don't want that happening. Um, that's fine with me because I can now do this. If I do have to be careful, they could end up starting to build up a Connect Four over this way. Um, we don't want that, so <laughs> gonna do that. Hmm, what could they possibly do with something like that? I don't know. Let's put it here. Okay, well they're trying something there. But I think we're fine if we do this. Yeah, diagonal connects can be tough, but I'm sure we could figure something out here. So they're just sort of building around a little bit. Hmm. I have a couple of options. Going to do this for now. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to get them to put, oh, no, not quite. Uh, just trying to look over all of their options as well. We do have to be careful, because they could get a connect here, but that would take them some time. I'm going to put it here and see what they do. Okay, they're just sort of trying to burn through time right now. I think that's what they're trying to do. Ah, darn, okay. Um, I gotta watch for whatever sneaky strategy they could be trying to come up with. So I'll do this. They're gonna, of course, block that. Oh, I have so many potential ones. I'm really not good at this game. It's tough. Okay, um, sooner or later, one of us is gonna have to put one down here. They know it's gonna get them in trouble. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put it here. Oh, okay, um. Oh man, I'm trying to think about this. Cause I know that, 
Oh, it's a tough one. Do that. Okay. Oh, but they've got me a bit trapped here. That really stinks. <laughs> this is where I usually give up. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's not gonna work. No, they're gonna win, aren't they? Yeah, they are. See, that's, I just I try so hard to think of these situations, and it still falls apart on me. Yeah, they just won. Darn, this is the first one we lost. This, I'm just, I'm not very good at this one. That's okay, I can't be good at all of them. There's 51 of them. The chances are I gotta be not so good at one of them. Um, let's read some hints though. Maybe I, I just don't know some insider information. Be on the lookout for places where you, your opponent has formed rows of three. It can happen from unexpected directions. I, I know that part, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> It's also about thinking a couple of moves ahead. This is only one of several names this game goes by, including the Captain's Duel. Livia arrived at the globe. So I would like to give it another go. Just one more go. If we don't win this one, so be it. I just wanna give it my best try um, and see if I can't improve a little bit with that. Lesson learned. Okay. Um. Don't exactly know what they're gonna end up doing here. But, I will try to prevent it any way I can. Lots of options, I'm gonna go with this. No, don't just start building. Don't just start doing that. It's so tough. <laughs> I'm really trying my best here. Yeah, I was expecting something like that. Because they know they can't put it here or there, you know? Oh boy. Um, let's try something like that then. Oh, be careful. They tried to sneak it in on me. See, that's sort of the problem here. Um, I like need to flip the order on them. Dang, okay, um. Cause like, I feel like I want to be the yellow piece instead of the red piece, because every time it never syncs up the way I'm trying to make it sync up. So I don't know if anybody's gonna win this one. I'm just trying to see the matches of three and how they, oh, oh, okay. There And there's like no way, because I'm gonna put one here, he's gonna put one on top of it. I'll put another one here, he's gonna put another one on top of it. Forcing me to put one here, he's gonna put one on top of it and he wins. How do I prevent that? I just, I don't know. <laughs> There's clearly like something I'm missing, cause like like I said, and then I oh and even then he gets one there. How I don't I don't know if it's just luck at the draw with this guy or what. I've just never really been able to be very good at this game. I'm sure there's you know something I could work on there. I just don't want to spend too much time on it. In his first incarnations, player drops small balls of different colors into a box. Okay, uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> I get a check mark if I don't get like a, a, a medal. Hit and blow, a game of deduction that tests your mind. Hit and blow. Okay, I've never heard of this one or seen anything like it, so this seems interesting. Two hits, two blows. Oh, what's all this? It's a game where you guess at a set of hidden pegs. Oh, fun. Here's how it works. A brown peg means you have the right color in the right spot, like a direct hit. With you so far? A white peg means you've got the right color, but in the wrong place, or a glancing blow. So this means you have all four colors right, but only two are in the right place. Exactly. Let's assume red's in the right spot. Huh. What happens if I try this? I'm so confused. Does that tell us anything? Um, well, what if I switch them around like so? Uh, 
Oh, I okay, I see. It. I get it now. This is taking forever. Let me try. I think you were on to something with that red one. So, Blue's on the right is like a hidden code, too, and you're so trying to figure out what that code is. Here. But we have to make a change somewhere, so I'll swap purple and white. And voila! Okay, I think I get it now then. <laughs> Not bad, right? Oh, uh, way to learn from my mistakes. Let's play Hidden Blow. I'm sort of starting to get it, but strategically this one seems like it's going to be really interesting. So this, you can actually change it so this duplicate color is on or off. Technically it would be easier if duplicate colors are off because I would just add to the multiplier. I think that if all, there's like six different colors, so if there were duplicates, there could be a thousand different po po possibilities, but if it was, you know, this, it would be significantly less. Um, so we'll do it off just so that we can figure this out a little bit easier. So we don't know what those are, but we're trying to guess. So guess the color and order. So is this a single player game? I don't know. I mean, I guess it could very well could be. So, oh, so we can still put duplicate colors even though, weird. Um, so if I do that and press okay, you can see that. Three blows. What exactly does a blow mean? Because Blow is color only. Oh, I see. So out of this color combination I made, three of the colors are in the combination, but not in the order I've listed it. So what we need to do is deduce which color that is. So if I do blue, red, yellow, and green, maybe pink is one of the ones. So once again, zero hits three blows. So what that could mean is that pink was one of them and green was one of them, but it wasn't one of the others. That's where I get so confusing. Um, but like one thing we can deduce is that there were no hits here. So I can instead of, so yellow's not on the top, blue is not on the top, maybe red is, and maybe yellow is second, and maybe green is third, and blue is last. It's sort of about deduction, and two of them were correct here. The problem is we have no clue which ones, right? I'm pretty sure. So our goal now is to switch some things around, but not all of them, and see what happens. Well, actually, no, we should not do that, because I already know for a fact from the previous one that's not gonna work out. Um, that's where it gets so tough. And I'm really trying to think this through. Um, yeah, like, and if I wanted to be like really diligent, I could do something like that. Um, I like really make sure is blue one of them or is it not? So blue is the is so blue is one of the ones where it's not actually in the color. So I just found that out. Um, so we know that red and yellow are in the perfect spot, which means we know that these last two have to be green and pink because we did get three blows before. Wait, what? One hit, two blows. Or maybe yellow is the blow. Okay, wasn't expecting that. So red is definitely the hit though. It has to be. Right? <laughs> I have no clue, <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh, this one is a head scratcher. No, what, what, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Oh, is it that red is here and then blue is there? The problem is like, 
So like we know that the color combination guaranteed is red, pink, blue, green in some kind of order. Oh, oh, almost. Zero blows. So we need to look at the correlations here and try to figure this out. I think that definitively we can say that red is on the top and blue is on the bottom. Which means that the only difference, but that can't be the case. That cannot be the case because if that was, the number six would have two blows. That is so tough to figure out. So maybe, no, because like, we got a blow on every time the red has been on the top. Every time, and when red was on the middle and the bottom, we didn't get a blow. We haven't tried, I'm at middle, or the second to the top and second to the bottom. We haven't tried red to the bottom, but the only time we didn't try blue at the bottom, we, we didn't get that one blow. We only got one blow instead of two. Which is weird, which is so weird. Okay, well actually, it didn't give me the blow, so that doesn't make any sense. I thought the blow equaled color only, even though in six and seven, we used the same colors. We used the same colors and we didn't get three blows in a hit, or three hits in a blow on seven. That, okay, there is definitely something I'm not understanding about the game, because that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, actually, no, that one had green in it. What am I talking about? Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, how did I get that mixed up? Oh, there was no yellow in it. That's the problem. Okay, um, yeah, I, I, okay, the game is very complicated. Yeah, so, red, pink, green, and blue. Red, pink, green, and blue. Would that work? Well, no, it's not this way, it's it's this way. These games are tough. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yes, okay, it took us all eight tries, but we did figure it out. That is something else, isn't it? Very tricky, clear. Um, all right, interesting. If your first guess uses two pairs of same colors pegs, it helps to narrow down the possibilities. I see that, yeah. Even if you get zero hits your blows, it's a helpful clue to figure out which pegs aren't used, I agree. Mathematically speaking, logically, it should be possible to deduce a correct answer within five turns. So we won without duplicate colors, but we, we haven't won with duplicate colors. I'm not gonna do that right now just because it'll take too much time. Anyways, Hare and Hounds, a two player strategy chase. The hunt is on. Hare All right. Oh no, <laughs> poor little guy, woohoo. So what's going on with this game? Aww, look at the animals, cute. It's not as cute as it looks. The hare is trying to escape the hunting hounds and get to the other side. Huh. Yikes! Mm-hmm. The hounds win by blocking the hare's escape route. Aww, poor bunny. It's all alone against three dogs. I wouldn't count the hare out just yet. Only one hound can move on their turn and the hounds can't move backward, while the hare can go wherever it wants. Hmm. So as long as it lands it's in one of those pretty tough for the hounds four to catch. left panels, Aww, right? Poor doggies. Now you're on their side? <laughs> Let's play hare and hounds. This one is interesting. So, play as hounds, play as, I wanna play as hare first. I think that would be a little bit more entertaining for me. So like I could just do this and like be pretty comfortable with the idea. So like this is where things could be a problem. If I moved here and then he moved that one hound up, I would already be blocked. 
So I probably just wanna move here. This is tough. <laughs> this is tougher than I gave it credit for. Um, but let's do this then. Yeah, how do you exactly? Aha. Darn. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. I don't like how we can do this little back and forth over and over again. Aha! No, I wanna. Okay, there we go. Yay! Oh, I see. So I win when the dogs can't possibly turn backwards to get me. I like it. Keep a tight guard against the hair by maintaining a line. Yeah, couldn't you just like, I don't know, because well, you can only move one at a time. I don't know how to pronounce that. The game originated in France and it was popular with its soldiers that it, it was so popular with its soldiers that it was originally known as the French military game. Okay, uh, do you want to share your game recommendations with the people around the world? Go to my figure on the globe and set your recommendations there. All right, so we want to try again on easy or normal again um, and play as the hounds this time, just to sort of see what that's like, get that experience, you know? Um, all right, we're in first place, apparently. Uh, so I can move this one hound here. And this is where it gets very interesting. Yeah, this is where it gets very interesting. Um, because if I move him down this way, the hair is gonna move there and win. So if I already like done myself in on the first move, maybe? Yep, so he just won with that. That's very, it feels It feels very slighted towards the hair in some ways. Um, If there's nowhere to go forward, try hopping back to make space. Well, that's good for the hair, but for the hound, I feel like the hound's much more difficult. The hounds in this game appear to be modeled after the Finnish hound. In real life, they are calm social dogs with patches of brown, white, and black fur. Okay. I don't think I'll spend too much time more than that. Um, interesting for sure though, I was able to play a group of games that that guy liked. Um, and then there's like, you know, a whole selection of games. And this Is this all 51 of them? Yes. So we could keep going and check out more games and stuff. There's a piano, take a break and try your very own. I wanna do this to finish things off. This looks fun. Um, let's play piano. Wait, that's it? Yep. Come on, you always have something to say. Well, there are keys and little keys. Oh, forget it. <laughs> let's play piano. I like this. Okay, let's just play in mosaic mode. What is that? I don't know. Uh, how do I play? Okay, maybe I should have looked it up. Uh, there are no rules. Just play as the mood strikes you. Is this not something that's possible with the Joy-Cons? I'm pressing every button. Okay, so let me let me see the how to play then. I figured, you know, just the full name of the piano was originally Grafa Cimbalo called Piano e Forte. That's a mouthful. Uh, Ricardo arrived at the globe. Well, hello, Ricardo. How to play? There are no rules. Just play as the mood strikes you. Um, when you're ready, ready to move on, press plus or minus. In handheld mode, the console upside down and it becomes a synthesizer. Try shaking the Joy-Con controls and see what happens. Pre push the buttons. I tried to, I pre pressed all buttons and nothing happened. I'm so confused. Um, it doesn't work. I can, I can shake the controller and like, make different noises, but none of the buttons or shaking or anything makes the piano work. What if I took the Joy-Cons out of the holder? Nothing. Is this a handheld only game? That's sort of like, it doesn't even say that anywhere. So it's just a weird choice. Um, all right, well, definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of this game. The piano covers a wide range of something, pitches. Um, that's cool. 
Uh, but there is like so many more games. We've only checked out five today and it took us nearly an hour. There's tanks, there's fishing. But yeah, if enough of you are interested, maybe we'll actually turn this into a full series. I don't really mind doing that. I always like to hear you guys' feedback first. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.